welcome to the channel uh, this uh, today the focus of this video is all about secondary postings or we can say seo postings or we can say entries which are part of the replication or initial load from the table cobk uh, in sap center finance we will do the deep dive uh, how it works end to end before we jump on to how it works in center finance let's understand what are secondary postings so these are the list it includes more there are more uh, but uh, the, these are the list I have included and these are the secondary posting which are supported by SAP Central Finance as as of date, as of 2020 release. There are many others but those are not supported by SAP as of now and uh, the core difference between FI and CEO postings is FI is your financial accounting, your normal day-to-day -day transactions, you record those FI postings. And then these are internal CO posting like assessment, distribution, allocation. They are a part of CO. However, you will raise a question that uh, if I post an FI document system, also post a CO document. Yes, the answer is yes. And uh, that's coin. That business transaction triggered by FI. When FI is posting a CO document, the business transaction triggered is coin. And that coin is not part of cobk that part is part of the replication when fi posting is replicated so any primary co document referred as coin is transferred along with fi document in the initial load as well as online replication so coin is out of scope of cobk table replication another is important part is can we filter more and take certain business transactions yes i have seen it as a requirement sometimes uh, Business says, yeah, I just want, uh, for example, uh, let's say I want only KO, KOAO. Uh, I only want uh, KS13, uh, KSI3, KSI1. So yes, we can take those transactions. We can filter those transactions and that is possible uh, through a filter in SLT. So when you put a filter in SLT, there is a field called VRNG. VRNG ring which basically uh, is a technical name of the business transaction type and you can filter you can say okay if uh, this field is equal to something or is it less than or more than equal to something so you can put those filters you can say one document type multi multiple document type however if you don't put filter system will pull everything which is in the list but it will you don't need to do anything for coin coin is by default uh, uh, ignored in the filter so that's CEO postings now how SAP post this so SAP has two functional modules uh, which through which SAP posted so the first is uh, FINS CFIN CEO central posting this update the table AC docker rather than COEP so this is the actual functional module when you post a CEO document it uh, updates AC docker table the related line item table COEPL for actual activity type and COEPT for actu actual price are not updated and cost objects supported for this are you can have the list here like production order, product cost collector, internal orders. And for other cost objects such as project sales order there is a body which can you can implement to map cost object from source to cost object in central system. And there is an another functional module which is generally used for uh, posting bulk transactions with fin CO bulk posting bulk. So these are the two functional modules. If you have ever faced any issue, just explore these functional modules. These are the two functional modules which trigger the, trigger the whole story of COBK postings. What are the CO steps? So if you go to the initial load process, uh, you of course, you know, first you have to do the VC fin source set in the source system. Uh, this is wrong, sorry. It's vcfin underscore source underscore set, not vcfin c source set. Uh, apologies for that. Uh, then you have a preparation and monitor for initial load CEO posting. This is a preparatory step. You do it by system by controlling area. And when you do this step, system goes into this table in the source system. You execute the tra transaction from cfin. System reads, go into source and reads your vcfin source set table what period, what year, what company code you have given. And based on that, this is what system does. When initial load is marked as completed, system start capturing the document for FI and CO replication. So we are talking only about CO, but this is just for information. 
so for co it sends after transformation to cfin underscore copa with document number referring to cobk so cfin underscore copa is a table in ecc system which is updated by which gets entries uh, after you say initial load complete in vc fin source set and what it does it refers the document number from cobk and how it this table works i will explain in next video which will i will be focusing on copa transformation for uh, central finance system converts copa line items and characteristics into key value pair structure in cfin copa table system starts storing references and system start modifying this table another table co add and moving element for the co key table into this co underscore add table so these are all steps happening behind the scene when you run this co preparation step and then these are the tables which are used so cfin and co add additional data mainly the cost object information cfin underscore copa for copa data which i will explain in the next one next video in fact i will be creating a separate video uh, which will talk about transformation of uh, cost based copa to account based copa in cfin and then there are two log tables these are the logs uh, and then if your source system is s purhana it have another table which is a transfer table uh, coep underscore add and when is sap start transferring co data via uh, cfin to s purhana below tables are updated which is cfin copa and cfin underscore add can we skip copa information while data transfer yes so as there are there are some customers who have done who don't want to do copa or management reporting information from cfin they say okay you can skip that but of course uh, you do need to do something so what that something is a body however it should be a careful business decision because once you skip you cannot have your copa details in your cfin system and you might lose the uh, purpose of implementing uh, s4 hana or central finance for long term so then if but is if it is decided then you can have copa in copa information in skip underscore copa method you implement it in the body fin underscore c fin underscore document in the source system and there is a note i have mentioned here if you really want to skip please read this note but it is a careful decision not a uh, technology decision it should be a business or the reporting team decision that we need this information or we don't need this information so that's all for today uh, uh, this was video was focused mainly on how the co data works especially in uh, in cfin when we do the co load what it does actually it was on front end it's visible like okay we execute the co prep step but exactly what it is doing behind the scene i explained that i will come up with another video specifically for sap uh, central finance uh, transformation related to copa how the system converts account cost based copa into account based copa what what exactly it is doing during this process for now i would request you to do like uh, share and subscribe the channel do not forget uh, to share the videos with your friends and colleagues and of course any questions you have do not forget to put it in the youtube uh, comment section and i will be happy to take those up thank you for today and stay safe uh, enjoy